lads, I'm absolutely delighted to, to be joined with you and we've got Christian with us. Um, Christian uh, was on commentary duties today, a uh, pleasure to have your company. I'm going to ask you first, Christian, uh, how did the boys do? You, you had a professional eye on them today under a lot of pressure in this big environment. Give us a little bit of a summary on how you think the, the boys managed the experience. Oh, they've been amazing. They've been amazing the full game. You know, we play 80 minutes, 90 minutes. Um, both of them been amazing. They've done, they, they stuck to their, their duties. They've done their work good. Uh, they didn't overplay. They've done what they had to do. They play simple. And um, like I told him, we've done only one mistake during the game. 18 years old, play 80 minutes at Ibrox in front of all those people. And done only one mistake. It's amazing. You said a lovely thing about all the experienced players here who have got great achievements behind them. But what you said is that these guys, in some respects, will be jealous of these two because they've got a whole career ahead of them. Yeah, of course, of course. And the thing is, they've got the old car, but they also they've got the, the, the talent. And it's not having the car, being young is not everything. They've got the talent and they can achieve something. Everybody right now who, who, who played for 15, 20 years will want to be them. So now they've got a, a, a big thing on their shoulder and so then they need to, uh, to reach their, their, their highest potential. And the biggest challenge is the next game. I think that's going to be the hardest game, yes, because they need to come down from the clouds they are in just now. And, uh, and next week will be, a, will be a hard game to do, yeah. Thanks, Christian. I'm going to come over to the, the young lads now. At, at what point did you know you were involved today? And at what point did you know you're on the bench? And then you come on, and at what point did you know you were actually starting? I probably found out this morning that I was playing. It was, uh, it was an injury in training yesterday, and I wasn't quite sure if he'd, he'd back me, but obviously he's put his confidence in me, and I... I hope I've repaid them. I think I've done myself a lot of favours, so aye. What about yourself? No, obviously, just the whole week in training, the squad's been quite small as it is, so I think we kind of had a rough idea with being the, the squad anyway, uh, but to get on was just a huge bonus. It was uh, an amazing experience in front of us. So many fans and obviously the travelling support as well were phenomenal, so it was uh, amazing. This, this is the football and fairy tale, isn't it? You know, a year ago you're at school, you're you know, you're playing at Elgin on loan, and, and here you are. You know, we really disciplined football and performances. Is is this is this the stuff of dreams? Oh, definitely. I mean, I was on loan at Elgin at the start of the season, and I had uh, there was a chance I was going to play in the Scottish Cup against Hillbeath Hawthorn uh, uh, away. So the fact that I got to play here today was just amazing. Adam, how's your injury as well? Uh, we thought it might have been a bit of cramp, but you've maybe tweaked the hamstring a wee bit. I've just felt something in my hamstring. I think I've probably been taken to the byline one too many times and maybe just a bit of fatigue. I've not played a lot of football recently, so maybe just a bit of tiredness, but I feel fine now. What, what's it like playing in this environment? The manager was telling us on Friday about part of the preparation is just um, your orientation and just getting out early, getting a good warm-up so that you can focus on the game itself and not actually what's happening in the stands. How, how did you cope with that? Uh, I felt it was alright, you know, you can take in the surroundings before the game while you warm up and then obviously walking down the tunnel was a special experience but as soon as that, that first whistle goes you've got to, just, got to just switch your head on and go and play, go and do a job. And at all points you know that you've got to be ready, um, you know, is it constantly going through your mind, my moment's coming? Yeah, definitely, especially today, you know, uh, in recent weeks the squad's been a little bit bigger so, you know, it's harder and with us only having four subs today and you knew that there was always a chance of coming on and you know if anything happened to anyone across the back four uh, there's a really good chance of coming on so uh, that was amazing. What, what about the amount of trust that uh, the manager's putting you both because what he said here publicly is they're young but they're talented and they're ready. No definitely like trust from the gaffer is so important um, and it means a lot to both of us the fact that he can, you know, in a stage like this, in a Scottish Cup quarter-final, put us both on and start Adam and then have the trust to bring me on as well and go and try and do a job means the world, so I'm just thankful for it. That, that trust tells you that the door's open, doesn't it? Uh, it's obviously a big, a big confidence booster as well. Obviously, by having the trust in you to go and play, it kind of takes a bit of pressure off your shoulders because he's telling you you're good enough, you can go and do it, so uh, it's, it helps a lot. As Wraith Rover supporters, uh, which is obviously the most important role that we've got beyond Wraith TV, we, we look across at that corner and we look at the kind of bonding at the end there. Uh, there does seem to be another um, another kind of passage here where the, the team and the support are, are connected in a way that's, that's not always there at football clubs. What's that like going over it even at the end there? I think it's really special. Obviously, it's my first professional environment and to play in front of the fans. I think week in, week out this season they've been outstanding. They've 
especially last week at Park Thistle. It's not a great result, but they, they stuck by us. They came here today in their big numbers, and you could hear them the full game. I couldn't hear the Rangers fans, I could only hear the Ray fans. And what you've got next is you've got a cup final on the horizon as well, but we've got um, what maybe be our game against the bigger Rangers, and that's Cove Rangers next week. So, as Christian says, you have to come down for the clouds, and then you're, it's all about pushing for cup final places. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, you, know, you come to stadiums like here, and it's a huge task, and you know the difference is going to be severe. It's, you know, it's going to be quite a big difference in the standard and stuff like that. So, um, you know, we need to just focus on this game, and you know. Work hard and try and get a win. Great. Lads, of course, we'll be following your career and commenting on it, and we just think you've got great things ahead. He's well done today, which is the most important bit, and uh, we'll see what the next, uh, the next uh, future games bring. Right. Thank Cheers, you. thank you. See you later on.